What are you doing in my swamp? What 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 are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2001 movie AI Artificial Intelligence. So this movie follows a uh, robot android named David who is given to this family and stuff. Their son is in is really sick and everything, and while they're searching for a cure for his disease, he's like frozen and stuff, and so they're they take in this robot boy and to be kind of like their surrogate son and when their regular son uh, awakens and is back living with him and stuff they end up abandoning the robot boy and everything because they feel he's too dangerous to keep around and everything so uh, we see David and his teddy bear, robot teddy bear uh, going on a journey trying to find the blue fairy because earlier in the movie the mother had read the story of Pinocchio to him and he thinks if he finds the blue fairy he will be able to be turned into a real boy um, and this movie is like set in a, a way into the future where global warming has happened and there aren't a lot of humans left most of the uh, people that are left have created the artificial intelligence robots and stuff too. Um, but this is a really great movie. It's, it's uh, definitely one of Steven Spielberg's most underrated movies. Uh, I I really enjoy this one quite a bit. Um, I always have ever since I was a kid. Haley Joel Osment was one of my favorite kid actors growing up because he he was really big when I was a kid and everything. And uh, this is one of his best performances if not his best performance I honestly think he should have gotten an Oscar nomination for this movie he was just amazing and here is David uh, and the rest of the cast are good in here too there's not a whole lot of other really big names the other biggest name in here uh, like is a main character is Jude Law who plays this uh, robot that's kind of like a sex robot uh, they, they tone it down a lot um, compared to the way I think he was originally going to be written but um, he's alright in this movie he, he does a really good job playing a robot and stuff and I, I didn't mind the character but I think if they took him out of it, it the movie still would have been fine the way it was um, he, but he, he was okay um, but th this movie has a lot of uh, homages and alludes to Pinocchio and stuff and Stanley Kubrick was originally supposed to direct uh, direct this movie and in the 90s he ended up giving it to Steven Spielberg because he he felt like he he would be a good one to do this movie and after after he died and stuff Spielberg made it a goal to get this movie made and uh, I think the combining these two directors and Spielberg tried to go with as much of Kubrick's vision as he could with while also putting his own vision into this movie I think that that really made this movie really good and I honestly don't get why this movie uh, doesn't get talked about near as much as it should it, it is a really really good movie and having two of the greatest filmmakers ever made involved in this movie you would think that people would have a lot more of love and respect for this movie but you don't really ever hear anybody talk about it and I, I honestly don't get why um, and the visual effects in this are, are top-notch. They, they have some really great, really, really great use of practical effects. And uh, the CGI holds up very well for the most part. The only part where the CGI really doesn't hold up is the, the aliens that we see towards the end of the movie. They look really, really horrible. But aside from that, everything else holds up really, really well. And everything and they use more practical effects and stuff I, I will say though that uh, the teddy bear always looked really creepy to me as a kid and he still looks really creepy now and uh, another thing about Haley Joel Osment's performance is in this movie he's playing a robot and he's really creepy at times and stuff like like and he's like really believable like honestly half the time I'm watching this movie I, I just think okay this is just a robot that looks like him because his acting is that good that's honestly 
Honestly, one of the best performances by a child actor that I've ever seen. He, he's just amazing in this movie. Um, yeah, I think the story was really, really well written and stuff. It it, it does kind of get slow in the middle. They could have trimmed it down a little bit. Maybe trim at least 20 minutes off of it and it would have been a little bit better paced. But besides that, I, I really enjoy this movie. And... Uh, John Williams did the score for this movie. It's once again really great, although th there are a lot of parts in it that remind me a lot of his Star Wars scores and stuff, um, but it is a really good score. Uh, pretty pretty underrated score, um, but this is an underrated movie, so what do you expect? And John Su Kaminsky does the cinematography for this, and it's really good. Not, not quite as good as some of his other work with Spielberg, but it is still really good and this is just a really great sci-fi movie and it features some voice cameos uh in here from uh robin williams and chris rock and meryl streep and uh they're, they're all pretty good in here and jack angel does the voice of the bear and he's really good um so it has a really good cast and everything most of the the other big names in this movie are just like small voice cameos but Everybody in this movie is really good, and the one that plays uh, David's parents, they're both really good. I, I don't think I rec recognize them from anything else, but they're both really good in this movie, especially the one that plays the mom. She's really good, and the one that plays his, his brother, the, the one that was sick at the beginning of the movie, is Jake Thomas from Lizzie McGuire, and I always forget that he was in this movie. Because this movie came out uh, right around the same time Lizzie McGuire started and stuff. And, and every time I see it, I'm like, hey, ha hey, that's Matt McGuire. But, yeah, so I I'd say I'd give AI Artificial Intelligence a 9 out of 10. It it's definitely worth checking out. Um, it's a really, really great movie and everything. So let me know in the comments what you think of this movie if you've seen it. I, I know there's a lot of people that haven't even heard of it. And everything I don't know why it did so bad I, I honestly don't get it but um, let me know in the comments what you think of this movie and if you didn't like it let me know why um, and everything so I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody